Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey again. In today's tidbit, we're going to discuss time zones in our Laravel application and how we can make it dynamic depending on our user settings. I will be using Laravel 5.4 for this example, and I've already created two pages. The first page will show us the current logged in user and also the current time and date. The second page allows our user to change the time zone with just a list of available time zones here. And when we update it, it's actually updating a database record for us. However, you'll notice even though we've updated our time zone here, the time isn't reflected of that time zone. If we take a look at Sublime, let's just check out the basics first. If we go into Resources, Views, and Display Time, you can see we're just using a date function followed by just a generic format. As for the change time zone blade file, we're not doing anything special here either. I didn't separate everything into controllers, so if we take a look at our routes web.php, you can see we have all the functionality here. Because we need to interact with users, we're just grabbing the first user from our database and logging them in. To get the list of time zones, we're using a PHP function here, which will just return an array. And finally, when we're saving the user, we're grabbing the current logged in user and just updating their time zone. So again, nothing special. So even though this time zone isn't changing, we are actually updating the time zone in the database. So now we're left with the question of how to actually update everything on our page. Well, because of the way that Laravel's request lifecycle works, I found the best method to do this would be through a middleware. Load up your console and we'll type php artisan make middleware and let's call our middleware something like set time zone. Now we can switch back to sublime text and open this middleware. It will be found in app, http, middleware, and then set time zone.php. And if you're unsure how the middleware actually works, I suggest you take a look at the Laravel documentation. Because of the way that we're going to be using the specific middleware, we don't have to worry about checking to see if the user's already been authenticated. However, depending on your application, you might need to throw in an extra check here to check to see if the user is actually logged in or not. We can just go ahead and call the date default time zone set and pass in our authenticated user followed by that user's time zone. And then once the time zone is set, we'll just allow the request to follow through. Now the next step, we're going to have to enable this middleware within our Laravel application. So in kernel.php, we have two middleware components. We have the global HTTP middleware stack, where these will run during every single request of our application. Underneath this, we have our application's routes middleware groups. So we have a middleware for web, and we also have a middleware for API. So even though we need this middleware to run in every single request of our application, we also need it to rely on the session. You can see here in the global stack, there is no middleware that starts a session for us. But if we scroll down to the web group, you can see right here on the third one, we have a session start middleware. So once this actually completes, we have our user and we can grab it from the session. So all this really means is that we can have our middleware happen anywhere underneath the start session. For now, I'm just going to throw it in the bottom. So app HTTP middleware set time zone. Now that we saved everything, we can switch back to Chrome and give our home page a refresh. You'll see here that the time has updated and that's pulling from our time zone. If we change the time zone for something more local to me, which is America Toronto, and we update it, you can see that on the next page here, our time is correct. So with just this little bit of code, we can have any user come in here and change the time zone, and it's gonna update automatically for them. So hopefully you can see the power Laravel can have in just a few lines of code. This will also bring this lesson to an end. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me in the next lesson.